what's going on YouTube? It's Josh uh, with American AF Dumpsters. Good morning, good morning. Today is uh, Tuesday the 24th. I didn't get to do a video yesterday, but I did uh, swap out the trailers at that one house uh, in Blooming Grove, which is uh, pretty far. Notice I'm wearing my, uh, my seatbelt here for a, a wonderful comment I had that uh, reminded me that I wasn't wearing a seatbelt. Super important, especially as much driving as we're doing probably catch me a couple more times doing that but anyways uh, on my way to the dump now with the 20 footer because the lady in blooming grill said I want at least one more uh, one more swap if not two more so that'll make a total of minimum of three swaps up to four swaps uh, for one customer which is awesome for me even though it's a little bit more of a drive um, I did give her a, a little bit of discount since she didn't go for three I gave her half off my um, travel fee, which was $90, so I gave it to her for $45 for the additional two swaps that she booked, and then I gave her 10% uh, off uh, the rental of the trailers uh, since she booked three. So the second and third one I gave her 10% off of. Still, I'm going to be making uh, about $1,000 just on the three, plus... Uh, They'll probably be a fourth, so uh, not bad. Uh, this video, I'm going to uh, go over my numbers here in the second half, my first 30 days in the uh, dump trailer business. Uh, so I kind of know roughly what uh, what I did, but uh, it'll be interesting seeing it on a spreadsheet and a breakdown uh, of you know exactly where the costs where the money is gone and how much has come in so uh, so yeah first 30 days in business so uh, we'll see how it goes Thank you. Again today, I had to reweigh out, so I spent another half hour in line to get my empty weight. Um, so about an hour and a half in line. It's 11 15 now. Um, heading back to the shop, and I'll be swapping out trailers here in a little bit. Um, all in all, going over the first 30 days, I think the first 30 days I've done, I've done pretty successful. Um, this week alone, I think I pulled in over $2,100 uh, the week right before Thanksgiving.
Damn. Did y'all see that? That is one heck of a lot of trash. And that is just the... Well, this is my third swap on this on this customer. That is what you call job security. So as long as they keep throwing their trash outside in their backyard or using their backyard as a dump, I will keep coming out here apparently. That is crazy. That must be years of being too lazy to assume that it's too easy it could be a medical condition it could be something else but that's years of a household of trash that instead of taking it to the road which is about I don't know 100 yards they just decided to throw all the trash in the backyard so I'm okay with it again like I said that's what you call job security so Guys, I haven't had a chance to do my 30 days uh, revenue. I'm about to do that as soon as I head back to the house now because couldn't do it at the office or Thanksgiving lunch at the office turned into a uh, afternoon of hanging out with a bunch of the drivers and office staff from my other company. So it was a lot of fun. Um, you know, got to do that every now and then uh, just to build, uh, you know, morale and a culture in our business that is one that you know I want um, a culture in our business that I definitely want to have right so um, you know every couple every about two times a year we'll do a well we'll do it more than often than that we'll do two holidays so we usually do like the fourth Thanksgiving or a Christmas party afterwards um, which probably this year I know the guys have been wanting a Christmas party I would love to go to uh, like Top Golf and take them all out to Top Golf. That'd be kind of cool. But um, you know, we do a lot of birthday parties. We'll do the, the office birthday parties at the office. So had an awesome brisket. Uh, everybody enjoyed the food. So good time. So now I'm gonna be on my way home. Take this uh, load with me. I'll stage it for tomorrow, and uh, and then I'll get on with you guys and do a screen share of my spreadsheet. So keep in mind, guys, when I show you my spreadsheet, everybody's business is going to be different. Um, you know, our city is just, our area is just massive. Um, but there's been a lot of driving. I've gone as far south as here, to uh, which is Blooming Grove, to all the way to, um, you know, Denton and Allen. So like I was saying, I'll cover the entire Metroplex. Uh, this is the first customer I've charged extra for travel. Uh, but I'll cover the entire Metroplex just because I'm chasing the money right now. When my clientele gets to the point where... So when I get clientele to the point where I feel like I have more clients and I have dumpsters and I can turn away business, then I'll start turning away business that's too far or, you know, definitely charge extra. Um, but right now, uh, I'm, I'm just kind of taking what I get around to uh, getting my financials all all ready um, and yeah so all it is all I have is a quick little spreadsheet that I put in um, you know on the left hand side the category whether it's sales or purchases or expenses um, the date um, I think honestly when I first started it some of these dates were the dates that I got the calls and then towards the end I put the date of the actual reservation itself or the first re day of the reservation uh, a quick description. I did edit some of these names, um, and then um, moving forward, I'm gonna do this all on my Docket software. But uh, since I first uh, started this, I didn't have uh, the Docket uh, system. So total revenue, and then I have the expenses in this tab over here. Uh, so basically, what we're gonna do is I'm gonna scroll down. Um, yeah, so we started on the 17th. Was the day that I bought that first trailer. Uh, which was $4,400 all in. Uh, and then uh, the first day I got my first sale or my first booking, my reservation that night, he wanted it delivered right away. Um, 
but yeah, and it goes from there. Again, I first started at 199 for one day rental, then I jumped up to 225, then to 250. Um, after I saw that, you know, the cost of um, the dump fees as well as the pullout fees and stuff like that, I honestly didn't know um, some of those costs at the time, even though I had called, I didn't wasn't aware of the pullout fees. So I added some extra costs or extra, uh, added some more money to my pricing. Um, then uh, a week later, or the week, uh, almost a week later, I bought uh, the next trailer, which was my second utility trailer. Uh, and then I charged more for a reservation. That was uh, for the bigger one. That's the one where they put all that dirt in there, and I charged it a little bit extra as well for uh, the extra dry run and uh, some extra weight. Uh, and then the next reservation. So, yeah, just moving on. So, basically, total in reservation in uh, just about five weeks so it's not really technically my first 30 days but uh, i titled it my first 30 days uh revenue about five weeks was seven thousand forty dollars and 77 cents that includes all the regular feeds plus any additional um days or uh, one of these was a full week rental uh, and then also includes any overages as far as weight which you know, the one company that uses uh, the uh, donut store remodel, um, it was a lot of drywall. They used a lot. They paid a lot of overage on, on weight. And this is the one uh, that had multiple reservations or multiple bookings, um, trailer after trailer. It, the hoarding house is what I'm calling it uh, with a bunch of bags and stuff like that, a bunch of garbage. Um, so they booked a lot. So that's all the extra fees. And then towards the end, I also started charging a um, service fee for accepting credit cards on Stripe. Uh, and then uh, I'm also adding um, sales tax or tax onto my reservations, which is coming out to a one day rental. Turns out to a uh, one day rental at 250 turns up to uh, at 308, uh, 308 50, uh, 51. So total in dump fees was one thousand three hundred and one dollars and forty eight cents of that i did pay uh four hundred and fifteen dollars and forty cents just for the pullout fees on the two cargo trailers remember um i started off with one cargo trailer a week later i bought another cargo trailer and then the third week i bought the dump trailer um, the second cargo trailer was down for the first two weeks i had literally one reservation in it and then they added a dirt didn't even take the second cargo trailer for like two or three weeks because I didn't didn't know what I was going to do with all that dirt um, so technically a lot of this 7,000 is just that first trailer and then uh, the dump or and then uh, the dump trailer um, I think moving forward I will itemize each individual trailer um, from here on out well from here on out using docket i'll be able to do reports run reports on each individual trailer how much each individual trailer uh brings in in revenue and then the expenses um so one thousand three hundred and one dollars in expenses and dump fees again includes four hundred fifteen dollars and forty cents if i had all dump trailers it would have been four hundred dollars cheaper total expenses was fifteen thousand seven twenty two and in the five weeks, technically, uh, I made $7,040. So divided by five weeks, it comes out to about $1,408. Remember, this is my first month, guys. This is not, um, this may or may not, you know, you may do a lot better than this. You may do not anywhere near this. Uh, but this is my first month in this. So, um, yeah, these are my reservations. This is what I brought in. It's not a hundred percent profit. Obviously, you've got some fuel costs in here and insurance costs, but uh, but you'll see that you know there was eighteen reservations total, eighteen bookings. Um, I would have had more. I did have to turn some people down between uh, when I had the uh, only the two trailers and the one was down full of dirt for a while. Um, so could have technically had more, um, but as we continue to grow, as we continue to add more equipment. Um, hopefully this number will start outweighing this number. So guys, that's going to be it for now. My next video, I'm probably going to talk about our docket software. Um, and, and then I'll do another video 60 days in, uh, and keep kind of showing you my, my, my goal for this channel is to make things as transparent as possible. 
Um, if you have any questions, uh, please hit me up in the comments below. Uh, remember to like and subscribe to this channel uh, to get notifications of new videos that uh, I'll be uploading. Um, I also am going to probably be doing a review on the dump trailer. I know I've talked about it before. I've had some questions about how the trailer is. I think I'll do a 360 review uh, inside, outside, and all the way around. And just kind of show you what I like, what I dislike, um, and some changes that I want to make to it. So, like, subscribe. We'll see you guys on the next channel, on the next video.